Hello! In the second part of the tutorial, we are going to continue on detailing the hut. Um, the things we are going to build are the wooden fundaments, the uh, wooden stairs, and the wooden walls. So the first thing we are going to focus on is going to be the fundament of the whole hut. And before I do that, I will hide everything that is not important right now, which are the trees and the terrain. Let me zoom in a bit to, to see it slightly better. And now I'm going to create the first board, the first plank, and let's make it a bit brown. And let's scale it to form a nicely looking long board. We're going to also position it to correctly be just under the fundament. Now it's time to make it a bit more uneven, so we are going to enter the vertex mode and slightly move the vertices around. So I'm just selecting groups of two vertices and I'm slightly moving them in one axis. Because we don't want the planks to be perfectly even. If they are too even, they will form too flat surface and they will not be interesting as the final result. So now I'm trying to better position it because we want it to be just at the edge, because we are going to copy it to the left after I'm done with that. And now it's time to sample uh, how far away the planks will be. So I'm going to the Move Tools, and I'm switching to the Relative Mode, because I want to see how far away should the planks be positioned. So I'm sampling that, and now I know I can see that the difference is going to be this one. So I'm uh, enabling the duplicate mode. I'm setting this to be a copy of those boards because then I will be transforming a few of them to form more uh, interesting patterns. We don't want all the boards to be the same, obviously. So I'm setting the duplicate mode to 8 and I'm going to change the X axis to be a correct um, number to minus 0 0.2 in this case and what I'm now going to do is I'm going to try to duplicate those eight boards uh, slightly higher to form another floor of this fundament so I'm basically trying to select all of them and I'm going to add them to one container so that I can easily duplicate the whole container and now select it from the hierarchy and move it up. This way we have two containers that are representing the floors of our foundation. Yeah, I'm now selecting both of them and I, I remove the boards that are sticking out. And the next step for us will be to duplicate one of the floors and try to form a front-facing wall for the fundament. So I'm selecting it, I'm uh, rotating it and positioning it. Well, actually, this first one is not going to be the, the viewer-facing uh, side, but it's more going to be another layer of the floor that we want to make it look more um, interesting in terms of the vertices that uh, we are going to uh, transform because just having a very plain board is going to be very um, boring so what we are doing right now is we are scaling individual parts of the boards um, to form some interesting patterns here like few of them can be bigger, few of them can be smaller and this is all happening right now. And this will form this more interesting pattern uh, across this line of, of the hat, of the fundament of the hat. So, so right now we are going to finish up this part and our next step would be to look on how it looks like in the overall picture. So we are going to enable the background and the trees and yeah here first I'm still repositioning parts of of those planks of those boards 
And here is the background. And here are the trees for us as a reference. And so as we can see, the, the bottom foundation is completely invisible. So we're going to use it to form the front facing wall for the of the viewer. And I'm positioning and rotating it. Yep. And I'm going to remove the bottom ones first. And look at it from all the perspectives, all the possible angles. And now I'm going to skip a bit because uh, yeah, I was just selecting a few boards. And now we are going to build um, another wall that is the one on the left right now. We select a few of the boards and we duplicate them. Yeah, here they are. And we are rotating the container and positioning it again in the correct place. And what I'm going to do now is just duplicate this wall and place it on the other edge. I'm going to, to skip it slightly because we already know how to do that. And here we have the fundament of our hat. So now we are going to build the uh, stairs. So I start from a, from a new box, um, positioning it where the stairs will be. Um, I'm changing the color to the brown and scaling the object. Now I'm going to build this strong plank that is going to support the stairs. And again, I don't want to see the background, that's why I'm hiding it, because I want to focus more on the stairs themselves. Also, same thing goes for the fundament. And now I can focus on the, on the actual foundation for the stairs. I'm going to the vertex mode and moving the vertices to form the first, the left part of the stairs. As we can see, this big board is going to support all the stairs. I'm duplicating it and positioning it. And now we are going to build the stairs themselves. So I'm starting from a box. Uh, it's automatically brown because the previous one was brown. I'm positioning it properly and duplicating and moving them on this stairway. So the next thing will be the rail for the stairs. I'm creating this thin board here positioning it again and duplicating the same thing we did already and now it's time for the rail so I just duplicated the same one because I don't want to position it again and I'm trying to place them so that they are connected as you can see I added the um, edge loop in between to not to have the straight lines because straight lines are quite boring so we want to have as many curved lines as possible while still maintaining the low poly count and now we are going to start building the wall. So let's create a log. We don't want it to be too uh, detailed. So we are going to set the, the number of axes to probably six or eight, which is completely enough because we are going to have a lot of logs and this detail is going to be visible. So I'm positioning the log, the first log on this wall. Yep. And rescale it slightly. Exactly. And now I'm going to duplicate board by board, reposition it, rescale it. It's going to be a very mechanical process, just doing it one by one. Uh, we want it to be manual uh, because our mock of the hut is very, very uh, uneven. And that's good about it. It doesn't need to be perfect. If you wanted it to be perfect, we would use the uh, duplicate tool and then rescale individual boards but doing it by hand is completely okay uh, we have those different parts and different um, shapes that we need to follow 
So yeah, it's just a simple process, board after board. Uh, we, we always need to make sure we watch on the scene from all the sides, because something that can look good from the front, if we uh, rotate a bit the scene, we can see that maybe this isn't uh, well positioned in other axes. And here we are finishing our first wall for the hut. And now we're going to select all the parts and duplicate it to the other side. Uh, as we can see, it's not perfect. We'll try to rotate it. Yeah, it looks slightly better now, but we'll need to manually fix it. Uh, I flipped it in the X axis, so now we didn't even have to do it by hand. And now we are going to continue on building the remaining wall. I just duplicated one of the boards and I'm positioning it. I want it to be in between those boards because this is more or less how the boards would be created in the real world. So I'm going to duplicate it now, at least try to duplicate it. Yeah, I'm doing it in the wrong axis. Yep, that looks good. So this wall is going to be slightly different than the other one. Probably other builders were building this one. It's more even, it's not that manual. But yeah, I'm just copying and positioning those different logs. And here we can see that I will need one more on the bottom, but uh, let's try to make them look as good as possible. Now let's take the top three boards and uh, rescale them just above the future doors. And now it's time to fill up the right part. Let's create a few more locks. So I duplicated these ones and I will try to scale them all together. I just entered the vertex mode because it's faster that way. And yeah, I'm trying to make it look better. Yeah, now it kind of forms a good place for us for the future doors that we're just going to create in a second. So I'm creating this placeholder again because we want to see where the doors will be. And it's always good to have some placeholders for us because then it's easier to reference parts of the scene that we want to focus on. So I'm again selecting all the all the walls and making them into container and hiding them. And yeah, this is a reference for our doors. So let's get into building them. So yeah, we hid all the walls just to focus on the doors themselves. So first of all, we are going to build the boards that are going to form the border of the, of the doors. So I created this simple box and moved it here. I just duplicated the reference actually. So I'm again changing the color to be slightly brown. And I'm hiding the stairs. And this is going to be the first board for our doors. I'm positioning it correctly. Yeah, in general, as you can see, like building those complex objects is about the boxes and positioning them correctly. Sometimes um, taking few vertices and making them look more irregular. Uh, I took this board and, and placed it slightly to the forward because, you know, boards are never in, inside of other boards. They kind of need to have some depth. And that's why we are more working on it in three dimensions. So I also am creating those uh, diagonal boards and I'm just copying the ones I have and then moving the vertices I have because that's the fastest way to do that. So entering the vertex mode, selecting vertices and doing that. And now the last part would be to fill the, the void that we have between our behind our diagonal boards. So I'm just going to duplicate a few more boards and that's going to form a very nicely looking doors for us. And selecting them all, um, adding them to a container, uh, unhiding everything, and I'm going to slightly 
show it in, in, in a context or in a context. So I tried to uh, rotate it, but as we can see, we have problem with rotating because the, the center of the container is, is in the 0, 0, 0. And there we have the final hat for us with all the walls, fundaments, and stairs.